Hey, what's going on guys? Dopesutter930 here. Hope you all are doing great. I'm making a video that I am actually really excited about and hopefully you guys will be too. I found this out a couple days ago. I didn't get a chance to make a video until now though just because I've been so busy. Uh, but basically there is an exploit that has been confirmed to work on the PS4. Now, uh, before I get into this article, I wanted to re really quick say, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, but about two months back, maybe longer than that now, uh, I made a little video on Game Genie, which is a company that used to make a lot of like kind of Game Shark style hack cartridges for uh, retro consoles. I mean, we're talking like uh, NES, SNES, I believe Genesis and stuff like that. And that same team had discovered an exploit for the PS4 supposedly that was uh, had something to do with the connection of the Vita to the PS4. There was some kind of a loophole they discovered. Uh, now, I hadn't heard anything about the, the exploit since then up until now, this past week. And uh, basically... Um, this is an article on ps3hacks.net, which is a pretty renowned uh, Sony, especially PlayStation 3, uh, modding forum and news website. And uh, I'm basically just going to go through this article and maybe talk a little bit about it for a minute or so. Um, if you guys don't want to hear me talk, don't care. I'll place a link in the description so you guys can just read it for yourself. If you do, let's go ahead and take a look at this article. Basically, it says WebKit exploit confirmed to work on PS4 firmware 1.76. Wololo.net has released news that a WebKit exploit has been confirmed working on the PS4. This is big news in joy. Two developers, Nas and Proxima, have gotten a hold of the PS Vita WebKit exploit and have been working with PS4 firmware 1.76. Proxima has stated that even though the exploit is one and the same, it was actually developed in a separate tandem and not based off of the exploit. They've released a proof of concept code with several examples provided that includes a module dumper and a tool that is used to create an advanced ROP code. Outside of these devs, there are not any confirmed reports of results from the proof of concept, but Wololo vouches for them, and they are reported to be trustworthy as well as the POC is said to have solid-looking code. Reports will be posted as they come in. As per usual, this will not be of much benefit to the average end user except to confirm if their PS4 can be exploited. This release is more important for devs who would like to further explore the PS4 and tinker around with the tools. The release is the first of its kind for the PS4 and will be greatly appreciated by the community as any exploit can eventually lead to a full hack. Sony has reported patched, reportedly patched the PS Vita exploit and has already announced new firmware 2.0 to be released next week for the PS4. So it may be wise to put off updating as nobody likes to protect exploits and software vulnerabilities like Sony. And then down below there's three links that says if you wish to test this and report, the following URLs have been provided, uh, you know, yada yada. So interesting and exciting um, a couple things number one I don't know whether I am going to update my ps4 or not um, uh, I'm kind of in a predicament here because the thing is I want to be able to use my ps4 online I really do that's the whole point of having it all the games are basically online I'm gonna be getting call of duty um, and you know I've got destiny and stuff like that I got to be able to play online so if you can't play online without updating to 2.0 which I would imagine is what they're gonna do that's gonna absolutely suck also, if you can, for some reason, not update and still play online, which again, I highly doubt, um, I believe that 2.0 has the YouTube update, which allows you to up upload directly to YouTube, which is what I've been waiting for. So that really sucks. And, um, you know, I'm not sure, again, because this isn't a confirmation that a full-blown hack is going to come out of this, it could take a very long time before one is, if there is one that is fully discovered and exploited through this loophole, um, you know, I don't know whether I want to hold off when it could be. I mean, we're talking it could be a year. I mean, if, if it even comes, who knows? Um, you know, nobody really knows how big the PS4 dev team is, how many people care, how many people are involved. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think this is rad, though. I really do, because, I mean, the PS3 didn't really have an exploit except for, you know, Geohot, that whole thing where the keys got stolen back on 3.55. Um, but for there to actually be a loophole that Sony somehow messed up on and didn't see... Um, is pretty rad and hope I'm hoping that someone um, is able to capitalize on this it'll be really interesting to see I will be sure to keep you guys updated um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think whether they're gonna be able to do something with this um, you know that's pretty awesome also whether you plan on holding on to your ps4 and not updating or whether you're gonna update and just you know don't really care to hold off and wait um, anyways guys links are always in the description down below if you want to find out more read for yourself Please don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, share, favorite, all that good stuff. It really helps out my channel and keeps me coming back for more. As always, thank you so much for checking out my video, and I will see you guys next time.
Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.